ब्रॉड टू यू बाय प्रोबो ऐसे ही हाँ और ना का गेम है प्रोबो द पावर ऑफ यस एंड नो द एक्टिविटी ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म में भी हैबिट फॉर्मिंग ऑफ फाइनेंशियल लीडर्स की पार्टिसिपेट रिस्पांसिबली वन ऑफ अ काइंड टी ट्वेंटी टूर्नामेंट एंड वी कूडन बी मोर एक्साइटेड टू शेयर दिस मोमेंट विद यू टू किक से जॉइन मी एस वी वेलकम a message from our league commissioner as well as the chairman of PMG Sports one of the greatest cricketers of all time and a man and one of the foremost gurus of the sport Sunil Gavaskar and i'm very excited about the international masters league that starts next month sachin tendulkar is going to be playing and along with him there will be stalwarts from just about every country those who have recently retired those who have been away from the game for a little while for them it's a wonderful opportunity to showcase their skills and to tell the world that they are still very very good sure it won't be like an international but make no mistake it will be played like an international because these guys don't know what it is to take it easy every time they step out to play and there is india written over there and this is going to be the indian team the west indian team the australian team the south african team and so on they all know that they're going to do well for their country and therefore it is going to be very very exciting very close contests and uh, i'm sure it will be worth a treat for all those who come to the ground and uh, to get the chance to watch it on television so pass on your seat belts and be ready take off time is not too far away at momentous day this is for us all today we are honored very soon to have in our presence some of the greatest players that have ever graced the field of play in a cricket match for over 3 decades both in the region and around the world however perhaps amongst all right Ryan, if i can request you to take your seat we're going to call you back shortly <laughs> now South Africa Masters will be captained by Mr. Jack Carlis, one of the greatest all-rounders of all time and a pillar of strength for South Africa for nearly two decades. Now, Jack couldn't make it today due to personal reasons, but we have a message from him. So, can we please have the message? Launch the International Masters League. I'm genuinely excited about this fantastic tournament. Throughout my career, I've always looked forward to playing in India. as the indian fans have shown me so much love and energy returning to a country that shares my passion for cricket is truly special it's a privilege to join forces with some of the finest players of my generation and i'm looking forward to sharing the field with my fellow legends once again yes yeah, to a great tournament ahead Well, Jack couldn't join us today, and standing in for him is a member of the South African team, a remarkable cricket. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now my pleasure to announce the captain of the Indian Masters team and the ambassador of the International Masters League. With over 34,000 runs in international cricket, a staggering 100 international centuries, and an illustrious career spanning over two decades, his legacy transcends the game of cricket itself. It gives me great honor to invite Bharat Ratna Sachin Tendulkar. Sachin 
Sachin, thank you for your contributions to the sport and representing the spirit of cricket with grace and passion. Now, if I could please request you to share a few words about the league and what it means to you. Good afternoon, everyone. This is indeed a special moment. At the launch of IML, uh, to have all my colleagues against whom I've played for a number of years, there's so many incredible memories that we've had together on the field, some off the field as well. It's nice to see all of you here and the rest of the guys. Uh, the most important thing that we've all gathered here for is our love for the game, our passion and love for cricket. And for us, all of us, we started playing cricket because we wanted to have fun. That childlike energy was extremely important and at that age, we played for fun. There were no expectations, no aspirations of playing for the country. But as the time went by, you know, those expectations, aspirations grew and then we started chasing our dreams. And while all that was happening, the journey left us with incredible memories. Some dressing room banters, some on-field rivalries, and it's so nice that we continue to be friends off the field. Though we didn't want to give an inch to each other, uh, so many guys sitting here, uh, we wanted to see their back in the dressing room. And there were guys who, who gave us hard time when we were out there in the middle trying to score runs, unrattling us. And all those kind of uh, memories created uh, a special journey for, for all of us. And, and, and I generally felt this journey would not have been exciting enough had the well-wishers, all the fans, people not been there. For all those special moments to, to amplify the success that you've had on the field, the lessons that you've learnt on the field, you need people to share all those memories with. And without all those people, it would never have been the same. IML is a platform where I believe uh, it has the power to bring the top class cricketers of the world who have played for a number of years together and produce something special. I remember meeting a lot of friends who've come up to me and said that we have watched you play. Some of them also went to the extent of saying that I grew up watching you play. Uh, and and now they are parents and the thing that they share with us is I wish my children had watched you live so here is an opportunity for not just the, the fans who are from our era, our generation but for their children also to connect with us and like I said sport has the power to bring us all together keep us tighter and enjoy above all what sport produces for us. So, on this occasion, I'd like to say that the players are all geared up to give their best with that childlike energy because I think that is extremely important for us to carry on the field. Yes, we are going to play hard, we are going to be competitive and we'll play the game in the right spirit the way it's meant to be. We want to go out and win and so is the case with all the players sitting here. I want to wish all the teams the very best of luck. I'll save a little more for us though, but it's nice to always catch up with you and we'll have some wonderful memories on the field and off the field and create some special memories for all the people who come and watch us also. Thank you very much once again. Sachin, thank you so much for those inspiring words. Now, once again, I'm going to request you to invite your friends and the captains back on stage and unveil the logo. Please, if I can have all of you back on stage.
I believe you have to hit the buzzer. Sachin, if you could please go and hit the buzzer. All of you guys, please. That would be amazing. Thank you so much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. They're putting a bunch of stools there. We have a few questions on behalf of the media, so we're going to get started. Can we have some mics for... Perfect, thank you. All right, we're going to start with you, Sachin. My first question is, what prompted you to be a part of and launch the IML? Mine is one. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to start with you, Sachin. What prompted you to launch the IML? Passion and love for the game. The the memories that we've created over the years, we want to relive them and we want to share those memories with the rest of the guys. Also create new memories. Like I said, sport has the power to bring us all together and to have world class players competing one tournament is always a special moment. And uh, I think uh, whenever we've, we've played against each other, it has pushed us to try harder and do something special for a country. And so would be the case even in this tournament. And that's the only reason because like I said, the, the dressing room banter, the way you, you know, mix around with each other, you know, that, that atmo dressing room atmosphere is special. And then obviously on-field competition that we create for uh, the rest of the guys to watch. I think these, these are the things which obviously excited me and I thought why not create something like this where all of us can be on one platform and compete again. I mean that's going to be priceless and I'm sure all the fans are eagerly waiting for it. Once again I have another question for you. Alright, what are your expectations from the league and how does it feel to be back on the field? It's like oxygen for us. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it's, been, it's been our life. So, you know, to be back on the field and to compete again, like I said. And also along with the generation which followed us, to connect with the younger generation. Uh, I'm not by any means trying to say that we've become old. We've grown gracefully. <laughs> but uh, 
you know, to, to be able to connect with them and enjoy sport. Above all, it's about having fun. My expectation is that the game has to be played in the right spirit. Yes, it needs to be uh, played to the, the best of our ability. I'm sure all players are going to prepare themselves and turn up. Uh, nobody wants to go out and, when, especially when you're representing your nation, you want to put your best foot forward and that is the expectation. We leave some great memories behind and give them a good experience. It's going to be an incredible experience and we're all really looking forward for it. Moving on, Owen, my next question is for you. What are your expectations from IML and how do you think it stands out? Yeah, here oh, I think what will stand out is, is the names, the caliber of the players, the legends on show. Um, and it's evident even here today, you know, sh sharing a, a stage and a microphone with, with some of my heroes. And, you know, that stands the test of time. I thought Satya made a great point earlier about previous generation having kids now that didn't necessarily get to see him play and will get to see him play now. So there's another aspect of it. But the level of expectation I have on the tournament will be to re-engage with the love of the sport that, that I have and that all of us have and ultimately go and have a, a great deal of fun. You know, cricket has given all of us so many opportunities, but ultimately it's given us the biggest joy of our, of our life. All of us have fulfilled our childhood dreams and when you can uh, associate that with a sport that you've been lucky enough to play for so long, to re-engage with that opportunity is, is going to be great. And I think over the course of the tournament, everybody's natural uh, competitive spirit will come out as well. So I'm looking forward to that. And just to be able to come alongside some of your friends and also some of your rivals at one point, it's quite unique. Yeah, very, very unique. It's, it's not something that I ever thought would happen, um, but the opportunity is, is right here in front of us. And to do it in a, in a country where the game has just emerged and changed the landscape of the world game um, forever, really, to do it in India is, is, is just great because the passion and the love here is unparalleled, un unparalleled matched around the world. Thank you. And Ramesh, now Sangakara is not here with us today, but tell us some memories that you guys have had over the years. Of course, he's going to be leading your team. Uh, actually, firstly, I want to say thank you to Mr. Mr. Sunil Gavaskar and Sachin for putting up this great show. I think it gives, uh, like Sachin said, gives a lot of memories uh, of playing with each other, with uh, all the legends and coming back to India. Again, it's, it's a great place to hang around, especially for cricket. And uh, always India has given a lot to, this, uh, to cricket to put all this uh, with a lot of sponsors, a lot of happening games and tournaments. A uh, lot of credit to uh, India firstly and Sachin well done again. Uh, coming back to uh, with the team, I think we are, we are putting up a good team to give a good match to these guys always. When Sachin comes always, he is always competitive, he wants to win. That's a great thing about Sachin and also I'm um, looking forward with the, with the guys uh, to have, have fun and have, to, to play this game at our best. All right, thank you. Now, Shane, of course, you've been a fighter on the field, whether with the bat or the ball. How are you going to balance your intensity along with the fun of the league? Uh, yes, I'm not going to have to worry about that nowadays. <laughs> um, those real competitive juices aren't going to be flowing like they used to be. But, look, to be able to have a chance to be able to um, go out and, in, and really enjoy the, the love of the game of cricket that I've always had and for us to be able to have another crack at getting out onto the field, being able to put our skills on display in some way, shape or form, um, it's an amazing opportunity to be able to, one for me personally, to be able to play with some of my mates that I've got so many great memories of playing with, but then to be able to rekindle in some version of the rivalries that we had playing um, against each other um, and some of my cricketing heroes um, to be able to play against them um, again and spend some time on and off the field with them is going to be something very special. So I'm very incredibly grateful for um, everyone who's been involved in putting IML on because it's, a, it's an amazing opportunity to rekindle those friendships. That excitement of being able to take the field um, for us individually but also hopefully for the people watching at the ground but also um, on TV as well. I'm going to put you on the spot but I'm going to ask you, do you have any memories 
playing against any of these legends that really come up to your mind right now? Yes, most of them were um, in the field just seeing uh, these guys. Um, there's a couple in particular <laughs> innings that stand out um, where they were long days in the field because the skills were certainly on display. They're world class skills. Um, look, there's to be, well, there's too many to mention actually because <laughs> there's <laughs> quite a few of those. Um, but look, it, it really is a it, it's a privilege to be here, and it will be for everyone about to have a chance to be able to be on the field again, um, playing against some of their some of their heroes, but also some of their very good mates. Absolutely. Now, John T. How do you think the players are going to be fielding in this tournament? Are you open to providing the opponents with any tips? <laughs> Always. Namaskar, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, you know, and also, because I'm a local in India, I will be able to advise my players themselves on the softest areas to dive and not landing over there. So yes, I'm, I'm very, very much looking forward to imparting that local knowledge to the rest of my team. And, and as everybody else has said, it's, it's fantastic to be a part of this amazing tournament. And I know all of us, we've spoken about the passion and, and, and how much it's a part of our DNA. But a big welcome to Sport5 for bringing this to us as well. And, and hopefully the introduction to cricket um, is not as, as strange as this game can be to people from a football background. So really amazing to have all of you here and, and involved with this great contest. But yes, I think the fielding levels, I'm, I'm yet to find an off button for my mouth and my fielding. So, so yeah, so if a ball comes in my area, I'm pretty much going for it regardless of the consequences. I might have to have a very good physio team attached to the South African setup as well. We'll put in your request, I'm sure. <laughs> you, are tr you truly are a team player, thank you. Brian, I want to ask you, how do you see the future of IML? Yeah, I think, um, first of all, good evening, everyone. First of all, I think it's got a tremendous future. Um, you know, I might be on the, the back end of the IML because, you know, at, at my age, getting out in the middle, it's going to be tough. But you've got a lot of great cricketers that are coming to the end of their careers. Some have just also retired as well. So what you're going to have is, are you going to have the public wanting to see these players play one more time? And as Sachin mentioned, you know, a lot of... Uh, of our era, the people who watched us play, their kids are now around and they would love to see us play. So that's another opportunity. I believe that this has got um, a lot of legs because you're going to have a lot of the great players retiring and coming right into this forum to express themselves. A lot of them will still be eager to do so, not get into coaching it yet, not getting to uh, commentary. They just want to play a little bit longer and this is sort of environment that's going to encourage that. What's going to be your strategy to ensure that your team is one step ahead of the rest of them? There's a pretty big lot here. Yeah, well, I, I think um, when you look at the Wesley's team uh, uh, and the availability of players, is, is great. I mean, it's, it's vast to see uh, the amount of talent that we have. We've got Chris Gale. we just got a retirement from Dwayne Bravo. You never know. He's a bit injured at the moment. But I think that uh, we've got the resources to, to feel a team that's going to be very, very competitive. I'm very envious because every time... I play this tournament or this kind of cricket, India seems to win. And we've got to take that away from India. You know, I've been lucky every time I've taken the field that Sachin is there. And we've had some wonderful time in America playing charity games in England and also here in India. So I'm also looking forward to that. We're all looking forward to it. It's going to be incredible. Now, Sachin, of course, John T here has said that he's open to giving everyone tips. Now let's talk a little bit about 92 when India toured South Africa. You guys are going to be sharing the pitch decades later again. Any memories that you have with John or something you'd like to share from that tour? You just heard him, right? <laughs> Wherever he sees the ball, he's going to dive. <laughs> and 92, he was a nightmare, I can tell you that. You know, his feeling was something that we hadn't ever experienced. And not just in 92, but throughout my career, I've never experienced anyone as fast as him. Uh, I think it was the only time I would say in my career that I was worried to leave the crease. And he was as good as a sixth bowler in the team playing. I, I remember one, one, in, one game in Durban, I think. It was a day-night ODI and we were batting second. The outfield was Dewey and 
anything within 10 yards, you couldn't even think of leaving your crease. So Jaunty was feeling at point and, you know, a batter kind of got hit on his body and the ball just literally landed next to the pitch on a harder surface. And Jaunty ran, slipped because of the dewy conditions and smashed his face on the ground. Well, at that point of time, we really felt bad for Jaunty and said, oh, this seems like a bad injury. But when Jaunty started walking back towards the dressing room, we kind of celebrated in the dressing room that now some runs would be available at point. <laughs> so this is a secret. I've never spoken about it. But that was his impact. I mean, and, and there were guys in the team where someone like Pat Simcox was boring off spin and Jaunty would be at short mid wicket. You play a ball towards Kuala Empire and they would sometimes have to rush for that run or most of the times refuse the run and Pat Simcox exactly knew how to make the most of it. He would make it a point to tell us John T. Rhodes is standing there, no runs available here. That was his impact. Well, that's Master giving us and sharing a little bit of insight and secrets right here at the IML. I just want to say thank you, Captain, Masters and Sachin for your insights. Now we're going to have one final photo opportunity before we conclude the event, but I'm going to request Mr. D'Souza and Mr. Felsing to come on stage and present mementos to our captains. Mr. D'Souza, you're going to present the memento to Brian Lara, Ramesh Kalu Vitarana, and John T. Rhodes. We'll have a final photo op right after as well with everyone together. John T. Rhodes and Ramesh Kalu Vitarana. And now, if I can have Mr. Felsing present the mementos to Sachin Tendulkar. Shane Watson. And Owen Morgan. Hello, good afternoon. Um, there's not much I can add. Just look at this. So who am I to give you any more wisdom? The only thing I can do is share my excitement. Uh, my excitement about celebrating the sport of cricket with these icons of cricket. But at the same time, to celebrate the icons themselves with generations and future generations, not only in these very countries, but also around the world. Let's use the momentum cricket has with the Cricket World Cup in America and cricket being an Olympic sports in future, together to enjoy the game, to grow the game, to bring generations and fans around the world together. Let's do this together. I do look forward to it. Thank you very much for coming, everybody, and have a great afternoon. Thank you. Join KJU Sports the Cup Telegram channel, where experts will give you fantasy picks. You will get exclusive content and the best updates. Your game level will increase with only Sports the Cup.